What's going on everybody? My name is Kevin Griffith and this is the Holler Barbecue. So today we're going to check out and see if the Blackstone Griddle can deep fry some food. So sit right there and let's get to go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hey today the whole point of this video is just to show you you can deep fry on your Blackstone griddle. You know, I, I, I'm from the deep south. I'm from southern Mississippi. We came up with a lot of fried foods. Now, one bad thing about frying foods in your house is it makes your whole house smell like oil. So today I'm going to show you how we can take that outside and use your flat top for something that it might not necessarily be meant for. So to show you how this thing can fry, I have two recipes for you. Um, being from southern Mississippi, you know, one thing we have down there that I can't really get here in Oregon is fried catfish and hush puppies. Um, it's something that I miss every time I go back to visit my family. That's one of the main things I have to go get when I'm down there. So I'm going to show you how we do it in southern Mississippi. So I needed to get this fish soaking. So I basically just have catfish fillets here just some milk and a little bit of cornstarch. And it's been soaking for about two hours. I needed to get this going so I couldn't show you earlier, me just getting it going. So it, it's nothing but milk and cornstarch. Just a, maybe a couple tablespoons of uh, cornstarch to the milk, just so that it covers it and just soaks in. So that's our fish. Now for our breading, I don't know if you've had catfish like this before. Um, but you might find recipes where it's a, a flour to a cornmeal recipe, but how we do it in, the, in, in Mississippi is straight cornmeal. So I have a cup of cornmeal here, because the whole idea for this is once you fry it, it's a super light crisp. You know, it's, it, you can't pull the breading off. Same way I do my ochre too, by the way. Gonna add just a little bit of salt. And for just a little bit of color, uh, some paprika. And that's all our mixture is. Nothing special, nothing fancy, no flour. So I guess you could call this gluten-free. All right, to get our fish ready, all we do is just take the, the fish that's been soaking in this milk and cornmeal mixture, and I'm not cutting the fillets up. They're basically our whole fillets here. Just put it in your cornmeal mixture. Get it coated up real good. Shake off the excess, and that's the way it should look right there. All right, so this is all we do to the fish. It's basically ready to go in the fryer now. Um, I already got the oil going out on the Blackstone uh, I'm using peanut oil today, so let me show you really quick what I did out there. All right, guys, how I'm going to run this today is I'm just using a, a cast iron pot. This is my, uh, you know, uh, enamel coated lodge cast iron, kind of like a Dutch oven. So I got all my burners on high. We can check the temperature later as it's coming up to heat and kind of kind of go from there. I want to be about 350 to 375, and I'm using peanut oil today. And this is a deep fry and not a pan fry. So we want to be able to submerge our food in the oil. So you want to pour enough to where the food will actually go down into it and be covered completely. And it will take a quite a, quite a long time to, to come up to temp. All right guys, so the next recipe is we're gonna make these hush puppies. Now this recipe calls for 
we're gonna do cornmeal and flour in this one. So you need three cups of self-rising cornmeal. I don't have that, so we're gonna have to make it. All right, to make self-rising cornmeal, it's one cup of cornmeal, then one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and then half a teaspoon of salt. So we have three cups here. So I need four and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And four and a half, I made a mess already. And then we need about one and a half teaspoons of salt. Good enough. And then just mix it around. And now we have self-rising cornmeal. All right, the next thing we need is a cup of self-rising flour. All right, just mix all this together. Try to get any lumps you see, knock them out. All right, and then for our liquids, I got a cup and a half of milk. And one egg. And just mix this all together. And keep in mind, this is gonna be pretty thick. Might have to get your hands in there to get it all really good. And I'm gonna add some green onion. I like green onion as opposed to just normal onion. I like the green in there. And actually, when I started this, I started from the white end of the green onions so we could get that part of the onion in and then a bunch of green too. All right, and there's our hush puppy mixture. So like I said, it's, it's pretty thick. That way when you, you know, make a ball out of it, you can drop that right in the oil. All right, guys, so here's the true test is, will this thing actually fry? So I'm gonna start off with the hush puppies first. They're gonna have to cook a little bit longer than the fish. Um, and what I'm using is, I don't know if you can see it, I've got the camera zoomed in pretty far, but I'm just using this ice cream scooper. That's, actually, it's a small cookie scooper is what it is. So we're just gonna go ahead and put those in. Now they're gonna sink straight to the bottom. And hey, look at there, it's frying up pretty good. See, one thing it doesn't really matter is if you splash oil out here because it just gets on your blackstone. That just means more seasoning, huh? Now, when are these things done? Um, they'll turn a certain color kind of a golden brown, maybe not even brown, but it'll be golden. And then they'll float. Maybe not a perfect float, but I don't know if you can see, but they're you know dropping straight to the ground or down to the bottom of the pots right now. But they'll come back up. So I used my meat thermometer to test the uh, temperature. And right before I dropped these in, we were sitting right at 350 degrees. And that's about where we wanna be. Now this recipe for these uh, hush puppies makes a ton. 
So I don't know if I'm going to make them all right now. So that's probably good enough for right now. I do want to give them just a, a, a tiny stir just to make sure that they're not, you know, sticking. Let's pick one of them up. That's a, that's what we're looking for right there. So I don't know if you can tell, but they're actually coming up to the surface right now. And you can also see that they're not bubbling as much. This is a good indication that we're about done. So let me go ahead and just see. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good right there. And there's our plate full of hush puppies. And I didn't even make probably a third of what I could have made. I have to figure out what to do with the other later. Now that I'm going to let this, uh, the oil kind of stabilize since we had stuff in it, let it make sure it's back to temperature, and then we'll get the fish in. All right, our oil is back hot. So let's gently get this fish in here. Probably going to be able to do two pieces at a time. Could possibly get three in there, but let's just see how this goes. Yeah, I'm actually pretty pleased at how well this thing's actually uh, heating this oil up to fry it. You know, and this fish is the same way as those hush puppies. They'll kind of start floating. They might be a little bit too big to float all the way, but you can see how it popped out of the water, or not water, but the oil here. And our tips are getting a little bit crispier, which I actually like crispy <laughs> fish like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this first batch out of here. I'm gonna let it drain a little bit. Here we go. Pretty dang good to me. Problem is if you put too much in at once, it could cool the oil down too fast. I can't have no hot thing of oil here without uh, you know, doing some fries. All right, guys, we're all done. Just had to season these fries up a little bit. All in all, guys, I have to say that it, it, it fried pretty good. Um, I was gonna do chicken, but I was like, ah, let me do something else that I don't usually get so I can I'm ready to eat it is what I'm ready to do. So I did fish today. So you can fry anything you want out there. It gets plenty hot. It stays hot. You know, it's got plenty of room out there too. I could have had, you know, two pots going at one time if I wanted to. Hush puppies. Pretty pleased with them. Nice and crunchy. Our fish, pretty flaky. Yep, something I don't get, get much up here in Oregon. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. This is it for checking out the Blackstone frying food. Like I said, I'm pretty happy, and I'm going to sit down and enjoy me a, a nice catfish dinner here. As always, guys, you got any questions or comments, go ahead and put them below. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And always, holler back.